This is not a cooking channel. What's the angle? I'm not playing. Let me give you guys a recap. Actually, no, not a recap, but a game plan of what I'm going to do today. Putting on my clothes as I speak. I have a sausage breakfast with some German kids, really nice people. In 20 minutes, I will be staying there until um, 2 p.m. And after that, I'll be going to the bus station and going to my local Finnish friend's house. We're going to bake Karelian pies. She invited two other friends too, and we're going to go together. My roommate here, a Finnish roommate, he goes to the store every night to buy frozen pizza. And I was feeling like, you know what, I'm going to be lazy today. He was kind enough to buy me a pizza of my own. I had him buy a certain kind of Finnish drink called Glögi. Glögi. These. It's Glögi. I'm taking a video actually. Really? Yes. And then you will eat it with a fresh roast and with that mustard. And you have to like peel it off. Peel, uh, peel the, the skin of the sausage. So wait. I'll... What do you mean? You guys. That's sweet mustard, and I'll show you how to peel it right away. <laughs> you can dip the pretzel in it. Also. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. So you have to peel the skins. Yes, I. Just... Is, is it the same you sort as I buy hand? from Lidl? Because... No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I think it's not sharp. Do you want this? You can. <laughs> yeah, it's not really sharp. Yeah. But um <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> Okay. And then you um you can take your hand to peel the skin out of it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lake. It's not completely frozen. Oof. Oh no, I'm getting lost. What are those flowery things that are not flowers? Oh yes, I will indeed. My hands are dying! Something amazing happened. It's been so long, but the sun is still out. Oh, it's going to go down pretty soon, but you can see the sunlight, the orange, the blue of the sky. It's usually not like this. It's very cloudy, but today it's not cloudy at all. It's amazing. Even though my fingers are falling off, I have to show you guys something. Do you see that? <laughs> it's so awesome. Do you see that? I don't know what it is. It looks fucking dope. Oh my god, my... My friend is apparently already in the bus station. Yeah, okay. See you guys. Yeah. Unfortunate, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see you guys later. Have fun. Nice guys, they were playing Magic the Gathering. I have to go catch the bus. It's important, but it takes like what, one hour or yeah. 1.5 hours to boil it. You put just a... Um, oh, it's like that, yeah, just roll yeah. it we so that it, it gets bigger, but you don't have to press it too much. Years of experience, newbie, yes. <laughs> no, but it's actually so it's, it's nice. difficult to, you know. I yeah, I know, I know, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I actually cannot do, I'm using this uh, pasta tool. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. oh yeah. So, yeah, it makes, uh, but yeah. that's the traditional way. Yeah. But we and have... Suvi's mom is from Karelia area. Oh! So, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> so, yeah. She, she's uh, done this like... Thousands since, of times. Yeah, ever since she was one year old or something. Uh, that's Ooh. why I think my mom is kind of uh, traumatized. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, and okay. Trauma, and she's now here as forced. <laughs> yes. Um, but it's no, nice that no, she could no, be no, here. No, no, no. no I no, think she's no. finding the joy again. Yeah, 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 I think, yeah, yeah. After many, many decades. <laughs> yeah. Lightly. Yeah, lightly. Yeah. Oh, it's so, like, the precision is just so good. I have Not this tool for over bigger. 10 years. Okay. I have never made pasta with it. But for Karelian pie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 
yeah. So you do it like three rounds? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. but it, it yeah. depends it's because not these not are not always not like equal. Like yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, the more you do them, you start to see what like the good. And the first Karel and Pai, a Karel and Pirak I had was in Lidl. No, but it's not the real one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a f true Spanish person. It, it, it was yeah. a rice pie or something. I don't know what's, what's yeah. the Karyal. Rizipira. You're feeling uh, confident already? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because I did the hard part first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if you want to put that water a bit uh, there, <laughs> so it might might yeah. might uh, help uh, no, for, for spreading the... Uh, Rice porridge. Yes. Risi puro. Risi puro. Yeah, exactly. Risi puro. I'm taking classes. Yeah, yeah. You're doing well. Yeah, yeah. I think number four is enough. Two times. Yeah, that's good. You are still some. That's a bit high. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're doing well. Yeah, so I don't have a. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I don't know, have you tried uh, rice porridge before? Yes, we yes. have. Let's go at the university. Yeah. Oh, oh no, no, I haven't tried at the university, but we have so many dishes that we make with the rice and like... Mm. It, you make this one? You no, tried? no, I haven't. Mm. So. Do they have uh, rice porridge at the university? I haven't noticed. In the Do morning. they? In the morning? In the morning. Yeah. In the... Yeah. Oh, I haven't noticed yet. Okay. I don't really, I don't think I've ever went to any of the restaurants in the morning. Oh, you don't wake up in the morning? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I used to, I used to. Okay. When there was sun. When there was the sun, right? Yeah. I miss it. Yeah, I miss it too. I miss it. We, we so, had it uh, today, like today, yeah, hours. I, I had a nice walk and I had took so many pictures yeah. of the sunlight. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, which country yeah. you We visited uh, Vietnam, Thailand. Uh, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. After this yeah. experience, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Traditional. That's the plan. 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 That's the you made it? Oh, that's the weird. Reindeer. No, it's, it's very lovely. The reindeer. <laughs> is, is it the same one that you're making? No, I just started. Well, I just started. But I saw you make one from there for like eight hours or something. <laughs> I, I did that. It's pretty good. You mean the a tree? No, this. This? That tree? No, No comments. <laughs> it's modern art. Right? It's modern art. Ooh, these look good. And these are all the gluggy ones, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yes. But I think it's part of the fun to have the jam stuck in your mouth. Guys, do you see the sunlight? It's been so awesome these two days. It hasn't been cloudy and the sun has been out. Usually it's so cloudy you can't see the sun at all. This is a really rare thing for Finland in my opinion. I just had a phone call with my father and they're doing well. Today two more Bangladeshi people will be coming to Finland. Their flight was delayed by four hours in Qatar, unfortunately. They'll be reaching here around 6 p.m. tonight. So I'm going to cook some chicken for them. Obviously they cannot prepare food right after coming here. Okay, let's let the trucks go by and then we'll cross the street. Okay. It's minus 20 degrees temperature and look at that horizon. Holy shit, I have to be careful. These are stairs, even though they don't look like stairs. Oh, wow, do you see the sunlight? In Finland, you learn to appreciate the sun because there's so little of it. It's something that I'd always taken for granted. Here it feels more philosophical. I'm in front of a lake. That was the Yuvas Yarbi, the biggest lake in Yuvaskula. Do you see this? Some kind of plant and it's releasing smog that just turns into like a huge cloud over there. Do you see that? Holy shit. Turns into a cloud. I have an empty classroom, so I'm just going to use it as my studio. <laughs> studio. It's dark for 18 hours a day. My body and my neuroreceptors, my circadian rhythm is definitely suffering because of that. But it's getting used to it. I can feel it. I feel less bad now than I felt when this weird darkness started. So I think that's a positive sign. Two of my Bangladeshi friends are going to come today. We started studying in this university at the same time, but because they couldn't get their resident permit in time, they had to stay and do the whole first semester offline. And we did it online. Huh? They did it online, we did it offline. And they'll be here. They both have accommodations. Uh, I want to cook for them. Just some light chicken. I'm hosting a farewell, congratulation, everything party. Congratulation to me to be elected in the council and farewell to a lot of my friends, the exchange students who will be gone. They're only here for four months, one semester, and I'm here for 24 months, maybe even more. A lot of them are very good people. We got close emotionally, yes, but uh, it's more of a platonic friendship kind of really nice neighbors, nice people to hang out with, people who like being sober. <laughs> I'm quite sad to see them go. 
I'm going to cook some braised pork, rice, and maybe a kind of one pan biryani. Something very easy. It's actually the same uh, people who hosted the German breakfast with the white sausage and pretzels, and the same people I took to my friend's house to make karyal and piraka. They also hosted the Greek breakfast. As I said, nice people. It's a kind of bittersweet heartbreak, losing friends, although it is an inevitable part of our lives. You meet new people, you say goodbye to old people. It hurts. So my friends just arrived from Bangladesh. Uh, the car is downstairs. Another friend of mine picked them up, so they're gonna have uh, dinner at my place and then go. One of them is gonna stay with me because his keys are not here yet. <laughs> I I think they see me. Yeah, they do. I'm going to cook some chicken curry. I'll try to make it creamy so it's fancy. I used uh, lactose free uh, Greek yogurt. I have it marinated overnight, see? Oh god, the smell. Can you see it? I don't know if is the camera focusing properly. And I'm going to make some braised pork and also salad. There's some, what are these called? Paprika, capsicum, I don't know. Some of them I'll be using for the cooking process. Not everything is going to be in the salad. I'm going to use coriander in the chicken curry. And this is how they sell coriander here. It comes with a tub. This. An actual like flower pot top, but yeah, I'll throw this out. The top part is garnish. Okay. Chop them a bit and the garnishing just I do understand it's a very subjective feeling for me. For sauteing the garnish, then this is what's left. Put everything together, so now there might be some overlap and taste. This is not a cooking channel. I used to make self-help videos once. Everything wrong with the current day world or like uh, active listening. I would used to do this thing where I tried to tie everything back together with Finland. That's why I'm moving to Finland. I haven't had the motivation to make self-help videos, write script for them. Vlogging is easier. Mostly I'm making these videos for the folks back home. I know a lot of other people watch it too. I My last video did kind of well. Mm, did actually very well compared to my usual channel videos. It had more than 1000 views and that's good. I definitely do not have 1000 relatives that I keep active contact with. Uh, even though the videos are made mostly for my father, my little brother, relatives, so that they can see the life that I live in Finland. This is MSG. It makes everything taste delicious. 
These are like chicken bouillons or chicken stock. These can make water taste like chicken. Science. Maybe I'll start with one first and see the quantity. Yeah, we could use more. Okay. <sighs> Would it be a good idea to cut the tomatoes now? My friend, my Finnish friend told me that for these two tomatoes, you can eat them with the Wow, he was right. These are so good. Mm. Okay, for the pork, I'm going to need it like this. Just roughly sliced. Yeah, let's try. I'm going to rinse and wash rice. Oh. I'm going to let this soak for 30 minutes and then like go through it for 5 more minutes and see if there's any more bad stuff. These are all pre-cut, so I don't have to cut them. Yeah, this is cleaning, I guess. Nothing more. I'm not going to marinate these. Whoever gets this piece is the winner. My friend is here with the sugar. Chini. Kata pork. Kata pork. Kata pork. For the chicken, I'm going to be using mustard oil. Pour in a generous serving. This is coriander seeds, cumin seeds. These are roasted cumin seeds. seeds. Oh no, that's ginger powder. <laughs> Where's the? Oh, okay. Well, I was going to put a ginger powder in. in. Anyways, but that's poppy seeds, some cloves, star anise, one bay leaf ripped in half, just three red chili peppers, one uh, black cardamom, one small stick of cinnamon. Oh my god, the smell. Onions. Salt. I forgot like black pepper. Let me salt because I'm going to start the pork on this one and the large helping neutral oil. Not the whole ones, but the grated ones, yeah. Like this. Fat size, side down. Okay. Holy shit! Splattering! Mm -hmm. I'm going to transfer it to another bowl. Uh, to simmer. The yeah, that's basically it. And this I can see. Okay, so this is the pork belly. It's braising. And it's going to braise for 80 minutes. Then I change the parts as you can see. Let me set some uh, timers.
no rice snake can be wasted, not even a grain. Butter, uh, not too much. Mix of it here. And I said not too much, okay? okay. Yeah, that's enough. Going to need a fork. One, two, three. successfully able to put it in 35 minutes I'm going to do a taste taste on both the chicken I actually saw one of those hats in I think like, it's, yeah. and I have oh, I'm gonna regret this no, but I not. want videos oh no I, I can't see me I can't see me hey Edward Paulina why are you two over there alone holding hands <laughs> okay. Yeah, that you, makes sense. You two alone is like, yeah, a bit of oxymoron. We have to be more respectful when the yeah. marching starts. Did you, do you want to take a picture of me? Uh, yes, why not? Your the bunny tail thing on top of your head looks highly flammable. Don't say that. <laughs> but it's it's also like very soft, so yeah, it is. in a good kind. It's plastic. That was always the cool one. On ollut itsenäisyyspäivän perinteenä Jyväskylässä jo vuodesta 1956. Tyminen ovat viime vuosina lisääntyneet hälyttävästi. Suomalaiselle yhteiskunnalle tyypillinen yhtenäisyys ja keskinäinen luottamus ovat alkaneet rapautua. amazing things happened today. I hosted a lunch. I recorded the whole thing. It was awesome. We talked about a lot of things. I'm going to miss those guys when they're gone. They're not going to die. They're just going to go back to their home universities in their home countries because they're exchange students. Most of them are. And then we went to the victory march. The independence march actually from the university to the graveyard. Today, December the 6th, Finland's Independence Day. It was awesome. Same people. Not everyone joined us, but the same people from the lunch. It was solemn. I feel a bit rude taking videos, but uh, uh, I noticed um, other Finns also doing the same. It's not really that strict here, and 
everybody I think appreciated that foreigners, me, Germans, there's also a friend I know from Slovakia and maybe I d there definitely were more foreigners taking part in Finland's independent march. It was awesome. I didn't take uh, much any videos of uh, lunch itself because the conversation was ongoing and it felt rude to take out my camera. Did you like today's video? If you did, please subscribe to the channel. If you are interested about my life in Finland, my perspective on Finland, you can subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time. Thank you all for watching this. Your time is invaluable and I hope you guys have an amazing next few days. I don't know when this video is going up. Bye bye. Moi moi.